Hey, what's going on Ecom Dominators? Cynthia here, and in today's video, I'll be reviewing a tool called Big Spy, where you can use it to spy on your competitors' ads. Now with Big Spy, you can search through hundreds of different ads across different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and so much more. Now keep in mind, you wanna be using this tool for inspirational purposes only, never steal or take anyone's work. Now with Big Spy, it can be used across any industry, including e-commerce, affiliate products, real estate, ad agencies, dentistries, the list goes on. And if you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Cynthia and I teach everything related to social media marketing. So if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and tap that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. Alrighty guys, let's get into it. So right now I am on the front page of Big Spy. It is literally one of the best ad spy tool that I've used to help me research my competition. Um, so what I like most about it is it doesn't only include the ads that you see on Facebook, but they also include ads on Instagram, Google, YouTube, Twitter, Yahoo, and Pinterest. And so I like that they combine so many different platforms because if you've been following me on my channel, I always say diversify your traffic sources. And so if I'm gonna be using a tool, I don't just wanna research on Facebook. I wanna research on what my competitors are doing on Pinterest, what are they doing on Twitter? What are they doing on Instagram? Um, so if I come down over here, they currently have over 650 million ad creatives and over 300,000 happy customers with 92% satisfaction rate. And I can see why their numbers are so high because it's an amazing software. So if you are in e-commerce like myself, you can use this tool to research what products you're competitors are selling. However, if say you own an ad agency, you can also use this tool as well. Um, you can spy on what other people are selling to maybe you want to sell in the real estate market or the dentistry market or whatever market you want to sell to, you can view your ads there as well. Also, if you are stuck on trying to figure out what type of niche you want to get into, they also provide you with tons of product inspiration, see what's working, see what you're interested in, and then maybe you can create a store around that specific niche. Um, so coming down here, I'm gonna be going over a lot of these, but br very briefly, you get to see the ads on multiple different platforms. So again, like I said, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, they also have multiple different e-commerce softwares, like you can search on Shopify, uh, Big Commerce. Another one is they have a big database. So then again, like I said, you can search through tons and tons of different ads. Um, you can search through um, different filters by countries, you, by formats, um, call to action like shop now or learn more. Um, you go, we're going to be looking at the featured ads. Now this is the part where you're not actually searching for a specific niche. This one is just um, some of the ads are actually performing pretty well. You can also take inspiration here as well. Also, people tracked are just ads that other people are currently saving and tracking for themselves so you can see what other people are actually looking at. You can also track your ads as well. Um, so it's such a great tool just to keep track of which ads you're, it's actually working and what type of niche you want to get into. So for the most part, when you get into Big Spy, you're gonna click on this button over here, it says Add Spy, and you can get onto this page. Now this is the part where you get to enter in your actual keyword or niche, and then down here you get to select which um, social media platforms that you wanna search the ads in, and then you can actually filter out a ton of different things, like, um, let me just hit clear very quickly. Um, you can select different page categories like you know different brands if you own a clothing store furniture um, you can sort through languages um, by countries you can sort through by ad creative device type marketing objective so whether they're running a PP ad or a website conversion ad um, you can also look through different e-commerce platforms like WooCommerce, Shopify, BigCommerce, things like that. You can also sort through the different dates. So within the last year, the last 90 days, 30 days, etc. 
So for a quick example, I'm going to type in leggings and I'm going to click search. And they're going to search through tons of different leggings um, that are currently running right now on Facebook. So you can actually take inspiration of and see what type of designs are out there. Are they doing a photo? Are they doing a video? Are they doing a carousel? Um, so you can basically, you know, go through all the ads and um, take inspiration. How are they laying out their ads? Things like that. So I actually found one right over here. I really like um, the design on this one. And not only do they show you the actual ad creative, but that they actually give you some details about this specific ad that you can use when you go to input uh, some of the information when you're targeting on Facebook. So for this ad, they're actually targeting people that can speak English. They're only targeting inside the United Kingdom. They're targeting people who are using PCs and their ad creative is just an image. So these are very valuable information to us to see, you know, what market they're going after. So for me, if I want to market to the US, I can look at, you know, this is a working ad that is working very well in the United Kingdom. But what if I bring it and target to the United States instead? Um, also, another thing is you can also uh, save this ad if you want to refer to it later on. So you can add in your um, labels here and then you can save it. So it's such a great tool to use. Also, another thing is you can actually see their actual landing page. So when someone clicks on their ad, you know, how does their landing page go to? So I over here, here's the website. Again, they have tons of different leggings here. I believe this is a, a print on demand site. I, I'm not certain, but it probably is. So you can come through here, look at the design, see what's working. Um, so let's come on back to Big Spy. So now let's take a look at another example. So say for example, I wanna type in pets and I wanna see what I'll get with the ads. Now I can obviously narrow my search. So over here, I like to go over to marketing and I like to do website conversion and I want to look at specifically just Shopify stores. So I'm going to see what I'm going to get. Um, so there's tons of ads here. There's a t-shirt, tons and tons of drop shipping products. Um, again, another print on demand product over here. Um, and look what I found. I found this one over here. This is called One Line Canvas. So in order to see more details, simply click on the three dots and then click on the detailed button and you'll be able to see more information about this. So I've actually made an entire video showing you about custom work. So you can actually sell canvas prints um, from people uploading a picture of their dog or their kids or whatever you know they want to get customized you can actually do that so if you're interested in learning about this i actually did a video just go back to my uh, previous videos and you'll be able to find this but if say for example you want to get inside the canvas uh, industry uh, specifically the pets, um, you can actually spy on your competitors, you know, how are they structuring their ads? So you can see they put the text up here and then they have the actual picture of a dog and then the canvas right next to it. So you can take inspiration on how they are structuring their ads. So this is obviously a video. You can take a look at the video and then over here is the uh, actual website that you can purchase this. So again, this is a personalized pet art um, that people can upload their own image right over here and they get to select different colors that they want this on. So really, really amazing tool to see um, what is out there. Um, also, another thing is if you look at the performance, you get to see how many likes they had on this uh, specific ad, how many comments, shares. This is the popularity it's pretty good and this was in within the last 97 days so you can take a look at all this amazing data um, we definitely want something that is pretty recent and not something that actually worked five years ago so within the past 97 days is pretty good 
this seems like a very very popular one again this is over 3,000 likes on this one alone all right so for the next one let's take a look at YouTube this is one of the ones that I really want to talk about more because not a lot of people are using YouTube ads um, there's definitely a much broader audience that you can actually reach on YouTube so for YouTube I like to sort out the languages to English a lot of the times because um, when you don't select English you're gonna get a lot of ads for different countries and we don't want that um, so here I can just type in I can even type in a holiday so I can type in things like Halloween and see what's gonna come up um, so the first thing here is I see this hoodie here obviously it's a Halloween hoodie um, I see this one from tipsy elf they're selling this onesie for kids for Halloween so if you're looking for inspiration for a specific holiday you can obviously type that in as well it doesn't always have to be your niche um, again I found another one this one is an all over printed I think like a button down shirt so again you can just come on here and see what's out there and then you can check out you know some of the stats by clicking on each of the ads so another thing with YouTube that I forgot to mention is when you're looking at engagements, um, I would not recommend looking at the number of likes here, but rather see how many views a certain ad uh, received because usually um, advertisements on YouTube are actually hidden. They're made private videos. So the only way that you'll be able to see whether or not it's successful is by looking at the number of views. Um, if it has a high number of views, obviously it will be consider a working ad because no marketer will be continuing to spend money if they're not getting a positive return on their investment so a lot of times when you're looking under YouTube their number of likes um, will be very small or none at all but what you want to be judging it is by looking at the number of views so again like I said I don't look at any of this likes just the number of views. this one's over a million views this was have over um, 76,000 views, 200,000 views, things like that. So judge when you go on YouTube, look at the number of views. Now the next thing we want to go over is Pinterest. Now for Pinterest, the way that I like to judge the success of um, a certain ad is by looking at the number of repins. So repins are exclusive to Pinterest only. So as you can see right here, there's a little pin icon. This signifies how many people have repinned a specific content um, that shows um, how many people are actually interested that they actually want to save it to their board. I've actually did several tutorials showing you, you know, how to get started with Pinterest. So if you're interested in that, go back and check out my Pinterest playlist. Um, but for an example, I can go and search for things like Tumblr. I can just type that in and see what other people are selling let's just say i want to sell tumblr but i i want to get some inspiration so i can search through here and see what other things other people are selling um, so i can click next another thing what i like to do is in this box over here i can actually sort it by the number of repins so i can sort it by the ones with the highest number of repins to the lowest number of repins so immediately what i see first are the best bridesmaids gift so this one apparently they're doing very very well over here it has almost 30,000 repins 8,000 repins um, we got 6,000 repins here let's keep on scrolling I think this one's still for the same product over 2,000 repins 1,000 repins for the same exact page um, so if you're interested in selling tumblers you know Getting inside the um, wedding space is also a really great idea as well. So you can keep on scrolling here. Let's just see this one over here. Um, this one is also another personalized product. You can do this one as well. If you like tumblers, you can have people upload a photo and instead of putting it on a canvas, you can actually print it on a tumbler as well. So if that's something you are interested in, you can actually research um, this specific um, Shopify store as well. So when I click on it again, like I said, this one just have people print their dog or their cat on a Tumblr. They have the upload button. I actually talked about this in a previous video. Again, go back and check that one out. 
Now another feature that I like about Big Spy is if you look under tracked and you come under featured ads, you'll be able to see all the ads that Big Spy has put together that are doing really, really well. So if you come down here, you can actually take inspiration and find, you know, what type of ads are working and possibly figure out what type of niche you actually want to get into. So if you're not sure, you know, about what niche that you want to start building a website or building a store on, you know, this is such a great place. You just get some inspiration. So over here, you know, just scroll down to see what you like. And over here, I see an ad that says quickly learn how to play the piano. Um, and so here, once you hover over the chart, you'll be able to see the number of likes, comments, and shares, and they'll show you from day to day how this specific ad is doing. So scroll down over here, see, I'm going to show you a different one. So this one is a t-shirt. Um, this one currently has over 65,000 likes. And if I, again, if I hover over this, I'll be able to see how many likes and comments this specific ad received. So very quickly, I want to talk about the pricing. So you can get started with Big Spy absolutely free. So for the free plan, you can search up to five different searches per day. However, you'll be only limited to Facebook ads. That means you can't search on Pinterest. You can't search on YouTube. Um, now for the basic plan, it's a little bit better, but they only allow you to see Facebook and Instagram, and you're kind of limited to the number of ads you can track over here to $25, uh, 25 a day. The one that I currently have is the pro plan. Let me just double check. Yes, I have the pro plan here and this is $99 a month, but it's 100% worth it because I get to see my competitors on all different types of social media platforms. Um, I can see them on Shopify or WooCommerce. I can see them, are they going on Pinterest or Twitter, things like that. So it's, I only get the pro plan because I wanna search on every single social media platform because I am running ads on YouTube, I'm running ads on Pinterest. Um, if you come down here, I like that they also include the demographic analysis. Again, that's what I showed you previously. When I go do my targeting, and I kind of want to see what my competitors are targeting, which country they're targeting, are they tar targeting certain devices? Um, so you're going to see all of that great information in this part as well. Um, now you can go for the Elite, um, however, it's pretty steep for $3.99. So for me, I personally just recommend the Pro because you get to see um, all the publishers and all the different types of networks. So, um, But again, you can start this for free, see if you like it, and if you like it, you can upgrade it. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Also, I love to know whether or not you have tested Big Spy. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave it down in the comment section below. Also, if you love content just like this, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and tap that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Live free.